Okay, we'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. Seems like a lot's happened around here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlethan City centuries ago. Blood... The blood magic during the war. What about now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air. Ruins float. It's like... An old wound that never healed, and now it's bleeding again. was the capital city, Arlethan. This is what's left of it after the war. I don't imagine it floated back in the day. Rook, ready to go? Nev, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Couldn't sit still much longer. Then let's go. seen fog this thick in Demetta's Crossing. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just... abandoned. 
They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No, to keep something in. Light, even worse than in the forest. Keep them in. You okay? What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. Everyone has to stay. No, you can't leave. Hey, can you hear me? Just stay here and everything will be fine. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. The town square! We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Fan out. This is Adeline. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us, the best in Arlathan. I can't believe this happened. Is that an Aravel on the roof? The blight must have lifted it up there. This blight is weird. Ever seen anything like it? Never. Blight's usually dead, static, but this is alive. Okay, let's keep going. Might be more survivors. What was that? Something big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Why were they looking for Veil Jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? A sinkhole. But how? Careful not to slip. That's the deep roads down there. Where the dark spawn come from. Look! More people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. That's one of your fellow Veil Jumpers? Valara! Jahel! He's alive! Valara! We're, we're going to help you! We'll get you down, Jahel! No, listen. The gods... the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. And the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. Come on. 
That town's close. Blighted. Dead. All of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head. Infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please, help me. Deep breaths. Tell me what happened. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gillanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. All this for gold. The villagers, the Vale Jumpers, the Blights, everywhere. Demeter's Crossing is dead because of your greed. Uh, I, I didn't know. You don't understand what it was like to hear those voices. The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The Blights, everywhere. What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook? Let's get him out of there. What? This entire village is dead because of him. I know. Then why spare him? We don't kill people. Not like this. We're not murderers. We're not like the gods. Thank you. I didn't ask for your gratitude. Then, if I may offer some advice, steal yourself. I felt their power. The promises they make, it's, it's irresistible. Then try harder next time. Don't make me regret saving you. Yes, of course. But you should be worried about the rest of the world. Or this will be our future. The Fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. 
and everyone would pay for it. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elganon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elganon and Gilanane used them like puppets. Say it was a show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. So who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds? An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about uh, all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf. So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history, and why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. This is our fault. When we interrupted Solus's ritual, the gods escaped. Would those feelings not be better used to put things right? But how? 
Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, uh, well, he calls it the Lighthouse? Ah, yes, the legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithin. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods! And they're killing people and blinding the world! How do we stand up against that? We don't have a choice here. We stand against the gods however we can. Because if we don't, nobody else will. You get the Illuvian fixed at the lighthouse, we'll find the dagger. Let's figure out our next moves after that. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. Do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. You didn't take the shot. I destroyed the statue. Who do you want to blame more for the outcome? We all did what we thought was best in the moment. And look where it got us. Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting. You push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. Magic. Powerful magic. The dagger was here. 
Something took it. Darkspawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out. Look, there it goes. Magical device. Keep on the trail. <laughs> Darkspawn don't usually collect things, do they? Solus dagger is special. They might have been drawn to it. Spawn ahead. Darkspawn took it. Let's keep looking.
Over there, a dagger thief. Ugh, more blight in the way. Ugh, and there's probably another one. Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. Another one of those magical beams. There are two of these devices this time. I bet we'll need to direct beams at both of them. to be the ghoul we're tracking. Better hope it still has the dagger. 
Not sure, but we should get back. We'll talk it through there. Your pet has failed, sister. And now the magic of the dreadful stagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his stagger is beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made of red lyrium. You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Yes, I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's all right. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. It's not the magic I know. What do you mean? It's clearly stone-focused, which makes sense. Dwarves are children of the stone. Mages connect to the Fade. Dwarves reach out to the stone? Maybe? Maybe. <sighs> I guess we don't have any real answers. It's a wonderful gift. You must be proud. But I didn't do anything to earn this. How could I be proud? I don't even know how it happened. It's all a little strange, but not in a bad way. I feel connected to to the to the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves lyrium veins and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. But, but this is more than the stone sense I know. I hope you're right that this is a gift. <sighs> I'd be heartbroken if it caused problems. Harding, you being here is never a problem. Oh, really? I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, to be honest. That's so sweet. Thank you. I, um, feel the same. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but I know it feels right. With their eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Harding told herself, it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost titans, and all of dwarven history with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good?
guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solus.